Good afternoon, church family. It is good to see you again. I greet you in the name of Jesus. This is part two uh, of our look at the uh, Lord's Prayer. So let me open up with a word of prayer, and then we will uh, unpack our second part of this uh, very uh, spiritually important uh, prayer in God's Word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, bringing our needs to you, Lord, is something that uh, is is absolutely crucial, Lord. So often we hold on, Lord. We bear, Lord, the, the brunt of life's burdens, Lord, that uh, so often we are hit with, Lord. But spiritually, Lord, that is unhealthy. Lord, I, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you give us a, a sound mind to bring, Lord, our needs, our burdens, our struggles, our, our hurt, and our pain ultimately uh, to you, Lord. And if we're uh, failing at that, if we're wavering, Lord, with that, g give, us, give us faith, Lord. Give us strength, Lord. Give us uh, the um, the willpower, O oh God, to submit and surrender unto you. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. All righty, uh, church, I'm going to pick up with Matthew chapter 6, beginning with verse 9, where Jesus uh, speaks of the Lord's Prayer. And he says this, Pray like this, Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. And this is, church, the gospel of our Lord and Savior. Amen and amen. Okay, uh, bringing our needs to the Father. So uh, the first half of the Lord's Prayer focuses on God specifically. But the second part... Jesus addresses our need for daily provision, forgiveness, and protection. So notice, it says, Give us this day our daily bread. The Lord is the source of everything that we need, physical, material, emotional, and spiritual. And, and we can look up uh, from the book of Philippians 4.19 that speaks uh, specifically to that. So by asking him to provide our basic necessities, we're acknowledging our complete dependence upon the Lord and trusting in his sufficient provision for each day. Ah, okay. Let's continue. Uh, in the Lord's Prayer where it says, Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. So this part of the prayer is meant to ensure that everything is right, not only between us and our Father, but also between us and other people. Since God forgave our sins, it is His will that we also forgive others. Okay, let me move forward here. In the prayer where it says, do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So our prayer is for the Lord to protect us from falling into temptation. And we instead honor him by living righteously. And then lastly, this entire prayer is focused on our Heavenly Father. It teaches us to worship, submit, and depend upon him fully, for needs of any kind. Now, let me also uh, mention this too. Nowhere in this prayer does it say uh, in parentheses, this is easy. 
or this will happen immediately. This is something that you and I must work with daily, must struggle with daily. But, you, you know, I, I, I want to first of all, you know, ask if you are having troubles forgiving someone or letting go, is your prayer, earnestly speaking now, uh, specifically focused on submission? Is it specifically focused on depending fully upon God? Is it uh, centered uh, on worship? Is it centered on, you know, the right frame of mind, a, a, a focused, a focus, laser-like focus on, on Jesus Christ? Where, where is your heart and mind uh, as you are going to prayer about these struggles? It, 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 needs, it needs to be in line, uh, firstly, with the Word of God, with God, and, and certainly with Jesus for for you to, for all of us, in fact, to um, it, it work on these things spiritually and, and ultimately be able to uh, let them go and surrender them unto God. So just remember, the right frame of mind, the right heart, the right spirit, in fact, as we are praying these prayers, and, and allowing God in. Uh, so let me uh, let me end uh, there uh, to part two of the Lord's Prayer. Consider all this. Go back and certainly read uh, the sixth chapter of Matthew uh, about the Lord's Prayer, and, and he continues, of course, with uh, some wonderful teachings about judging others and and the golden rule so uh, go uh, go in and, and read further uh, about those very uh, relevant um, uh, situations life um, uh, obstacles that that we can all spiritually benefit from so let me uh, let me close with that and uh, offer a word of prayer okay? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, uh, prayer, Lord, uh, should never be casual. It should never be a, a, a part-time uh, spiritual discipline, but but a full-time effort, oh God. I, I, I pray in the name of Jesus that you help us and guide us all, Lord, in uh, and through our prayer lives. Certainly, life is not easy. Uh, that is compounded with pressures, with stressors, with burdens, with uh, the devil's attacks, Lord. So we need divine help. We need divine guidance, Lord. So I, I pray that our spirits can be right, our, our minds can be, uh, our hearts can be in line, Lord, with you as we bring uh, our prayer, Lord, our voices unto you, Lord, for, for life, Lord, for freedom, Lord, for uh, salvation. Lord, for you are the God of it all. And we ask this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Church, have a wonderful and blessed day, and I will see you next week. Take care. God bless.